Hi everyone, my name is Kai. I worked over 20 years in the financial industry, most of the time as a leader, and in that time together with all my colleagues, I've never been wrong. Okay, that's a lie. But it does lead to today's video, because sometimes being wrong can be the biggest blessings of all. And why that is the case, and what that has to do with curiosity, and how you can avoid falling into the same trap, we'll find out all about it right now. Many leaders stop being curious at some stage during their career. Do you remember the very first days in office, the very first job you had? You were excited by it. You wanted to learn everything. You didn't have a clue of what was going on or what to do, but you were determined to learn. You asked everybody about it. You critically questioned yourself and your own decisions. And then you grew from a novice to an amateur. And then the problems happened because suddenly you knew that you did something right and you stopped critically question yourself. You also stopped critically question those around you because you had figured it out. And so suddenly curiosity wasn't a big thing anymore. It was more important to be right than to critically question yourself. And that can lead to disastrous decisions. So why do I say that sometimes being wrong can lead to a great result? Well, I was transported back into my own childhood where at the age of 12, I was already trading stocks. I know that's a bit strange, and also I was pretty crap at it. I lost a lot of money and that didn't get better at 14 or 16 years old or at 18 years old. I was still more wrong than right. But then I noticed something. I noticed a pattern of why I was wrong. And I couldn't help myself, but I could help others. I could analyze the data and this is where I made a decision. I decided I want to be a risk manager. And this led to a 20 year long very successful career. So just because I was wrong and just because I asked myself, why am I wrong? And because I stayed curious about it, it helped me to come to a great career choice back at the time. So how do we avoid falling into the same trap? The most dangerous thing is being right. See, when you are right, you sometimes come to the wrong conclusion of why you are right. I traded commodities and I detected a pattern that made me money. And so I invested more and more. But in fact, the pattern that I detected had nothing to do with my success in that particular trade. And so over time, I lost more and more money because I didn't critically question why I was right. Stay curious. Next time around you are right, critically analyze the exact reasons for it. And also critically ask yourself whether there could be an alternative explanation of why you turned out to be right. The second thing you can do is come up with at least one reason why you could be wrong. Some call it playing devil's advocate, but it is so helpful for our mindset. Sometimes we have to snap out of the thinking that we already know it all and just look at the other side of the equation as well. Number three, run a scenario analysis. This comes from my profession as a risk manager. And typically we looked at the biggest dependencies we had in a business. For example, maybe it was our building or client contact or technology. And then we build a scenario around it. Now you can do the same thing for you as a leader as well. Maybe you are already convinced that you have a fantastic relationship with your team, but you could run through a scenario where you say, if that wasn't the case, what would I do differently? And that helps you staying curious. And the fourth thing I suggest is ask your team where you could be wrong. See, in the past, I organized at least once a week a creative roundtable. I invited my most senior leaders in my team and I asked them a simple question. Why is Kai an idiot? And that was sometimes quite amusing. And sometimes that was very uncomfortable for me. But sometimes they came up with something where they were right and I was wrong. And so we could change course and make it better for the company. See, if you can overcome your own ego and ask the question, listen, where am I an idiot? Where could I be wrong? You stay curious. You critically ask what you do yourself, what your team does, and it will help you in your growth and in your personal development as well. By the way, personal development, that's something we talk about in this channel 
quite frequently. So if you like this type of content, then consider subscribing. And if you do, also give us a thumbs up. It really makes a difference for the channel. I have also linked a couple of videos at the end screen that may be highly relevant for you, given what you've just heard. I will see you over there and of course in the next video.